They're all like, hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dilly's gonna go in there and break oh. it up. <laughs> Good girl, it's a dilly. Stop. She wants a camera light for all herself, and it's not about you, Della. You had your turn. Dilly! You got the boss under control over here? Yeah. Her head rubbed. She's happy. She's the only one I worry about instigating anything, you know? She'll be fine. I think she will too. Well, like the one big difference that I'm seeing right now with the donkey versus the llama, usually like when the llamas came in here, they would, they were really interested in the goats and they would chase and snake after them just because they were curious. This girl's just kind of like, I've been around goats, I know what the deal is and I'm just gonna go out here and eat, so. Yeah, we're just making sure that we're out here just in case it does take a turn. Donkey sometimes can be mean to goats, but she's been in with goats and sheep and other livestock and has never had a problem so we're just monitoring to make sure our livestock's safe she's safe and just making sure the introduction goes okay she's not a fan of the lead or the halter but that's okay that's not her job here so seems simple i think she does too <laughs> here comes the rest of the herd, <laughs> the herd. The oh no the <laughs> yeah they <laughs> all see her now <laughs> joe finds it funny like they noticed her, they're like, what is that? <laughs> they're like, oh my God, what is that? <laughs> they're all like, I'm not sure. <laughs> She's going to pee back there. And just... Well, they'll all start Fleming, guaranteed, because she's peeing. That's good, she just went right in yeah. and started grazing now. Yeah. Josie's struggling with the fact that she's not as friendly as I think Josie would like for her to be. She's used to our goats that are just love bugs oh, and want to be on top of you. So I think Josie's got a project, huh, Bear? Why do you have to make a video about this? <laughs> make a video about everything. They're just at ease with one another. They're not trying to get in each other's space. They're just happy to be out having dinner. Mm -hmm. And Mark just brought up a really good point. Um, we have some trouble keeping our pasture eaten down. 
our goats are great. They browse. They they like the the weedier stuff. So it just makes it to where we have to really mow our pasture a lot more than we'd like to, which can sometimes cause worm problems. But we're really hoping that she is going to help us with that. And we took her halter off earlier because you should never turn out an animal um, with a halter or a collar on in a new surrounding because if they get caught, they're going to panic and then they can injure themselves or even it can result in death if they, they hang themselves up where they can strangle themselves. So we just made sure to take her halter off. And if I have to catch her in the near future, then that's the wonderful thing about herd animals. You just kind of herd them into a corral or inside and into a stall where you can get close quarters with them. I'm hoping she won't give me both barrels if I have to grab her, but she had plenty of plenty of chances while we were catching her and bringing her out to the field to unload on me. And Mark said that too. He's like, well, she didn't have any want to hurt you, even though she was afraid and it was unfamiliar, so I'm glad <laughs> he's being molested by a goat here. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I'm edible. Yeah. Oh my gosh, all the best goat keepers are, though. You know, why do you think these strings are tucked in? I can't even have strings out on my hoodies because the goats try to eat them. By the time I realize what they're doing, it's halfway down their throat. What'd she do? Squirt about Billy. Oh, ew. She's so hateful sometimes. Scary boot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Daredevil. Yeah. Got the scariest boot in all the land, babe. That one's eating twine. What? Is that twine? Mm-hmm. No, okay. dude. You better grab it. Ooh. Hey, drop that. <sighs> what, snack? That's a really good oh <laughs> that's a really good sign though. Rosie's been feeling down and Mark just noticed today while we we're out here that she's got a rasp. So we are currently treating her for pneumonia. And she got probably the worst shots I've ever had to give a kid. You can ask him, he actually had to hold her and I've never had a goat cry like she cried. Like a baby. It was like a baby. It was awful. You know how when you go to the doctor's office with your children and they get their first shots and they cry and you cry with them. It was, it was pretty close to that. So Rosie is going to be getting treated for pneumonia with that rasp, that respiratory. New floor is really good for that. And we're giving her B vitamin, vitamin injections. So she's got five days um, of new floor treatment, which it's a really thick serum guys. It hurts. It's intramuscular. So. Yep. She had to get a shot yep. in the armpit. Yep. She got a shot in the armpit sub Q with the B vitamin. And then she got one in the old tuchus, right in the muscle. Right in the butt it muscle. burned a bit. And it did. And I can hear right now just a little bit of a rasp. And she's um, Raven's daughter, so we noticed she was depressed and down. And she's not closely bonded with anybody yet. So at night, she's not been cuddling up. Every time I come out to close her up, she's off by herself, which is okay. She sometimes will um, get really close to the, the molester here. And you know, just really enjoy herself. But you, I mean, you can. I can audibly hear. I don't know if my phone's picking it up, but with her just sitting there, you, I can. I can audibly hear the rasp and the hollowness. So. We've had some suddenly cold nights. Last yeah, couple nights. yeah. So we had frost for the first time on Saturday, which is when we had the coyote, and you guys saw that. So if you didn't, there's a video linked up above. But we've been getting 30s in the morning, and then it's reaching. Today was like 78. And then later this week, it won't bounce as hard, but in the spring and the fall, when you have these big temperature swings, you really have to watch for pneumonia because it's a really quick killer. I honestly think with um, Raven, especially based off of what we found in her remains back there, I feel like it was a combination of pneumonia and bloat. So um, I think between the two and when I caught her, it just was too late and she was too weak. So, which is terrible. It's awful to lose a goat in that fashion, but... We're gonna try to, to treat Miss Rosie. So, yeah. We'll keep you guys posted on that and we'll keep you posted on how well Lola does because right now she's, she is dang near a rock star out here with us. Lola. Lola, she's out there with Boog and she's just chilling. Boog and Lola.
Do you want her to go back with the herd? You want her to go back with the herd? So as you guys can tell, she's already pretty close to the herd and is concerned about where they are in relationship to the dogs. She still hasn't figured out if our dogs are friend or foe, and that's good. We want her to be wary of dogs. Donkeys are naturally wary of dogs, and she just, she's really not sure about June and Django. She's kind of sure about June just because June has shown respect to her already. Um, but Django is a smaller predatory dog. He's prey driven. So she's really not sure about him. I don't think she likes his high energy, but you guys just saw, she didn't want Rosie to be away from the herd. Rosie's one of the smaller goats and you saw she nudged her towards the rest of the herd, knowing that those dogs were there. So she's doing a really good job so far. She's such a good girl. Did you find me? Mm -hmm. She found me. Hmm. Ow. Ow. Are you curious and unsure of me? Mm -hmm. 